Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun time-saving tips in After Effects. Today, once you have finished watching this video, you will be smarter. Because you will know five professional tips to save a lot of time while working on your composition. Be it workflows, comp tips or secrets that no one knows about. Well, until now. Oh, and one of you will not only be smarter, but also super happy, because I will announce the winner of the Action VFX subscription worth over $19,000. But let's actually save some time now and jump to the first trick. And this is also the fastest trick for today. Have you run into this issue, where you are working on something, for example, this graphic, and now I want to scale it up or rotate it? Wait. Huh? The anchor point is off. Okay, let's grab the pen behind tool and search for it. Now, let's position it in the middle and if you are lucky enough to have snapping enabled, you will only need 10 seconds to get this done. But think about what you could do in 10 seconds. So, here is how a pro does it. Hold down control and double click on the tool itself. Done. And this also works if you're, for example, masked out something and want to have it recentered, not the footage, but to your created asset. Okay, first one done, up to number two. And this one is super duper helpful and almost every professional visual effects house uses it. And today I'm revealing the secret. Imagine. In a professional world, you shoot everything in 4K, sometimes 6 or even 8K with super advanced codecs that are, well, super advanced, but also super slow. So let's try to play back this clip in After Effects, shot on a red V-Raptor in 8K, and you see it is super slow already. Hmm. We may also need a color conversion with a LUT and some additional color correction. Oh, super cute, right? But the client wants more pop and his wife likes butterflies. So why not add a few? Hm. Easy tasks. I have some pre-keyed already, but hey, the comp is now simply too heavy to handle. I barely can see a single frame of this masterpiece. <sighs> Wouldn't this be nice if we could have a file to work with that is a bit less stressful? And here's the secret. So click on your advanced slow composition. Go to create proxy and here it already has draft settings applied. But we can give it even worse settings, meaning making it small and fast without caring too much about the quality. And render this. Now, what has happened? <laughs> we have the original file now with a checkbox telling you that the proxy is enabled. That means when you use that advanced file in your project, it will automatically be replaced with the fast file. And you can see the different settings over here. And now I can make the client's wife happy in real time. Oh, and the good news, if you render it, it will automatically take the original file as source again. So you don't have to think about it. But please don't tell this trick to your bosses, because they will give you twice the amount of work as they know you can handle it. <clears throat> okay, time saver number three. Again, an issue that most of you have had in the past. You have an asset and you may have color corrected it. Now you want to use it again, but for some reason you are not happy with the color correction. So you adjust it. Oh wait, you have to adjust it also on the other asset now. Hmm. Or even better, you have this cool graphic and you have filled it all with red. Perfect. The client loves it, but the client wife hates it. So you have to change it to her favorite color, green. Okay, let's just go into all graphics and readjust. No, no. Hey, we are smart and we know the client's wife. Um, so we knew in advance that we have to build in a safety net. When we have created the first asset, we not only copied the fill effect, which we could do with Control-C for copy, but we used the shortcut Control-C, P, 
plus holding down Alt. And when we paste it now, we have linked that effect to the original effect. So we could have as many assets as we want. And once the client's wife wants to change anything, we only change it in the original effect and it updates all the others automatically. And this also works if you have copied it over into another composition. <laughs> now everyone is happy, except the client. Hmm. But hey, he will love time saver number four because, well, time is money. And this is also for free. So win, win. And this again is a quick one. It is an add-on for After Effects called FX console. And you can download it from Video Copilot. And if you don't know this website, well, you are unfortunately not allowed to use After Effects anymore. But anyways, simply download and install it. I just uninstalled it to test how long it takes to do that. And I was able to do it in under 10 seconds. So that is exactly the same amount it took me to tell you that. And from now on, you never ever in your whole life have to go to search the effects and presets tab. Never ever find the effect you want and never ever drag and drop it onto a layer. All you need to do is use control and spacebar to open the effects console and start typing your desired effect. Like levels, a tint, U and saturation. Bam, they are directly on your layer by hitting return. Did you notice that I did not have to use my mouse once for all of that? So just install it and use it. And if you don't like it, tell me and I will give you your money back. Mm, no, not just that. I will double it. Okay, now, last but not least, a compositing time saver, a workflow from the pros, a secret that has only been passed down verbally for centuries. Here we have a green screen clip and want to get the best result. Well, in the fastest way possible. So with the effect console, add the keylet effect and we pick a green tone somewhere over here. So let's check the mat and create a screenshot to save the result we got so far by just that one click. Hmm. Now let's fine tweak it. Screen gain, balance. Okay, down here, clip black and white, maybe gain again. And now we can again correct the clipping settings a little bit and we have a pretty good result. Meaning in this case, our background is completely black while still having a lot of detail in my hair. Great, but not fast. Hmm. What if I told you that we can have the same result with just picking the right color and no additional slider sliding? Well, let's reset the sliders and go into our green tone here now simply drag around the tone we had picked and watch the mat at the same time. See that result? Let's compare this to our first green tone we picked. See that improvement? And again, we have not touched any sliders for this. So if you spend a little more time in the beginning, you will end up saving way more time in the end. And yes, this is also the end of this video. Hey, and the beginning of a compositing career for our lucky winner, Roy Shipper Films. Yes, you can trust your ears. You have just one action VFX footage worth over 19,000 bucks. And for all of you losers out there, Action VFX still has a lot of great footage to offer, even if you need to buy it. So there's something for your next comp for sure. And if you use the link in my description, you also support my channel and I can do more of those giveaways in the future. What was your favorite trick in this video? Do you want me to do more of these secrets revealing videos? Because I still have a lot of aces up my sleeve. So let me know in the comments. And for now, I wish you a lot less frustration and a lot more quality time in After Effects.